deep in jungle territory in New Caledonia. Check this out. In the middle of nowhere. Jungle fever, baby. It's the killer. Killer. Nice throw. Quite tight. This is super, super cool. I started drumming when I was five years old. I started playing bongos in nightclubs when I was 18. And then I reached a point where I wanted to do something different. Now I want to use this, what I've learned here, and develop something new. Something that stands out and can get me on bigger stages. I spent about 10 months building a, a new rig, a new instrument, a new visual way to DJ. And it was nothing more than a, a MIDI controller. But this MIDI control I was building was one of the biggest and it was based on the fact that I was a drummer so I was making a big electronic drum kit that was connected to Ableton Live and enabled me to be able to control sounds and lights and graphics all completely live at the hit of a stick. To be able to control the music like that and each note and every movement you do controls all that sound and I'm talking about when you're in arenas and you've got all these speakers connected up to your drum stick. That's it, you hit that one drum and the big sound comes from it and you play that melody and you can just hear it resonating through and it's making people scream and jump and dance around. Knowing that you've got that control over people and their movements and their, their enjoyment is absolutely awesome. When me and Killer Keller were in India, there was just moments where I was just laughing to myself at how spectacular it was that what I was doing was getting like 20,000 people going nuts. Um, so feelings and moments like that are absolutely what I do this for. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this. Wait for it. Here I come. Not blonde me. I'd have been what? 12 years old. Shit, there I am. <laughs> on another homemade instrument. Seems like it's all I ever play on is homemade instruments. Yes. I'm rocking that high vis vest. Little Fish was very nervous, man. Heart was racing. <laughs> that was. Um... A scary stage but you know what it wasn't as scary as i thought it was gonna be because having been in a tv studio uh, sorry not been in a tv studio before i didn't really realize there wouldn't be many people watching so you actually perform to quite a small audience just a handful of cameramen and crew and presenters it'd be fun and that put the fact that put me on the map that was the gig that put me on the map in high school it actually made me well not cool but just less geeky